my name is Laura Herzog. I'm the licensed clinical professional and counselor at Senior Life Solutions at Pinckneyville Hospital. I've been asked to do a series of presentations on stress management in these difficult times. So I hope that you can follow us and stay tuned and we'll see you probably six or eight more times after today. So to start with, I wanna talk about being able to identify stress and so that you can work at being able to manage it better. Now, stress is a reaction that we all have to internal or external factors in life that create strain or tension. And stress affects everybody. We all just happen to cope differently with it. Not all stress is bad. It motivates us. And we always have some kinds of stress in our lives. Now, stress can be routine, like the stress we have day to day with managing kids and work. It can be acute, like the stress that we're having right now with the COVID-19 quarantine. Stress can be traumatic, or it can be chronic. Now, I want you to keep in mind also that stress can be either positive or negative. We don't always think of stress as being positive, um, but if you think about, I don't know, the first time you had a new baby and you brought it home, Having that little life is wonderful and joyful for most people, but it's really stressful to have a brand new little baby. Now, it is really important to understand and recognize when we're feeling stressed and identify the causes in order to help manage it better and manage it in a healthy way. Because long-term stress is harmful to both our physical and our mental health. Now, we recognize when we're feeling stress by paying attention to how we feel in our bodies physically, to paying attention and being attuned to our emotional states, and to having a realistic understanding or being able to reflect on our behavior. Now, the common signs of stress for our physical body would be rapid breathing, headaches, fatigue, restlessness, sleep problems, sweating, muscle tension or teeth grinding, uh, feeling sick to the stomach or butterflies, feeling dizzy, GI complaints like constipation or diarrhea, or changes in appetite. Our emotional symptoms to stress can be irritability, sadness, fearing failure, a dread of the future, loss of interest in usual activities, loneliness, loss of sense of humor, or fearfulness. Behavioral reactions to stress can be difficulty making decisions, poor concentration. Sometimes people feel like their memory has become impaired because they're not able to pay attention as well as they would otherwise. Some people deny that when they're having a problem, they might avoid difficult situations, have frequent crying, nervous habits like nail biting or knuckle popping, Aggression with some people or acting out behavior uh, can happen. And sometimes people are either under or overly talkative when they're stressed out. So you can see a lot of these, um, there's a lot of overlap in these symptoms between nervousness, fearfulness, anxiety, and depression. Now, some of us are better able to identify what the cause of our stress is, and it's helpful sometimes if we're not sure to keep a journal. I would encourage you to maybe think about keeping a journal for about a week and writing down um, things that you think about every day. Remember that stress can be caused by external factors like relationships or situations or internal factors like negative thinking patterns, hopeless or helpless patterns of behavior, or rigidity in problem solving. Keeping a daily log to see patterns and themes can really help you to better understand and then problem solve in terms of managing your own stress. You might want to write down what stressed you out that day and how did you feel both in your body physically and in your emotional state. Um, you could rate the intensity or the duration of the stress that you had that day. Uh, record how you behaved in reaction to that stress and also it's important to write down what you think helped because that is going to give you a clue to where your strengths are when it comes to problem solving. Well thanks so much for joining us for session one on stress management. 
We hope to see you soon for the following sessions on how to better manage your stress.